Good afternoon, everyone. Malamig po, ano? Well, for some reason, it is cold now here. Or ako lang bang giniginaw? Grabe lang. But it's good to be... Sabi ko saan, it's good to be back. Nawala ba ako? Parang last week nandito naman ako, ah. For, the, for those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Rev. I'm one of the pastors of Victory BGC. And if you're here for the first time, can you raise your hand? We just want to welcome you. Please do well. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Why don't we give them a warm welcome? Just to let you know, we exist for two things, and that is to honor God and make disciples. We are actually on our series right now, and the series is Set Apart. At napag-usapan po nga natin sa series na to, Set Apart, looking at holiness in a biblical perspective, di ba? Biblical view of holiness. Hindi kultura, hindi yung opinion natin, pero ano ba talaga yung holiness? At napag-usapan natin, kasi this is the third week, napag-usapan natin sa first week that uh, God is holy, God is set apart. Iba siya, he's, not, he's like no other. And we also saw that he was, he is uncreated. He is the source of all creation and He is uncreated. So He is the one who is the source of life, the source of all that is good. And He also created us, human beings, to be holy. Di ba? But something happened. Yun yung nangyari last week. And nakita natin na uh, humanity was banished from the garden. I knew something is missing. Pahingi ng upuan. Kasi hindi ko ito masusustain. So sabi ko, parang may nang ibang ano. Anyway. So yun po. But before we get into that topic right now, I want you to get a partner. If your husband and wife, probably most likely that's you guys. And answer this question. Okay. Sa- Madali lang naman sagutin ito eh. Name one great sacrifice that you have made. Yan. You know, if, if I say get a partner, it means you talk to each other. <laughs> That's what. Just. Ikaw. Si Mel nag-iisip eh. Ano ba yun? Name one great sacrifice that you have made. Now, when we say great, that is relative to everyone, ano? <clears throat> uh, ang hingi ko lang sa mga husbands, wag nyo namang sabihin na nung pinakasalan nyo yung asawa nyo. <laughs> Hindi po ako ready for marital counseling today. Okay. okay na. At least, you know, nagkaalamang kayo. Eting tanong ko naman, pangalawang tanong. Now, you don't have to... Kanina, nung nagtanong ako, parang walang gusto magumpisa. Ngayon, nagsasalita na ako, walang... Shhh! Tama na. Okay? You don't have to share this, but just answer this on your own. It's, and it's also a good... How should I say it? Parang it's a good question to ask ourselves every now and then. What have I sacrificed for God? Diba? Kasi connected yan sa topic natin ngayon. Because the topic that we want to answer today, the question that we want to answer is, how can sinful humans, who belong sa, sin- sa sinful humans, sino dito mga sinful humans? Okay, buti naman, alam natin. Have a relationship with a holy God. How can, I, how can a sinful human like me have a relationship with a holy God, knowing that what, what happened in the garden is that when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, it's like the image of God and likeness of God in us is broken. Not totally wiped out, not destroyed, just broken. No? Kaya nga, nung pinaalis ni God si Adam and Eve, God still had a plan to pursue humanity. How can sinful humans now approach God? How can we be accepted by God? And we're going to look at a book today that for some of us, we love this book. If I probably ask you, what's your favorite book in the Bible? This would probably be the book that you would not say. 
Naalala nyo yun yung excited ka for to read the whole Bible in one year. Genesis, rumaragasa ka. Yung kaling nito. Sa umpisa ng Exodus, wow, grabe mga stories, sa mga events. Dami ko napupulot. Medyo sa gitna ng Exodus, the tabernacle. Gano ka haba, gano ka laki, ano yung mga materyales? Lord, kailan ko ba talagang malaman to? Diba? Parang nag-bug down ka sa Exodus. On the latter part of Exodus, parang nakahinga ka ulit. And in Exodus, ang story naman nito, alam naman natin that God took them out of slavery from Egypt. They went into Sinai, preparing to go to the promised land, and they stayed in Sinai for one year. And in Sinai, God showed Moses the pattern for the tabernacle. The pattern for the tabernacle. Gagawin nila to. Okay? And not only that, they also received the Ten Commandments. Pero alam naman natin may nangyari doon, the golden calf. At sino yung may pakana ng golden calf? Ang mga tao mismo. Sino yung tumulong sa kanila? Remember this? Aaron, the brother of Jesus. Oh, the brother of Moses. Si Jesus. The brother of Moses. Si Aaron, na sinabi ni Moses, o oh, ikaw munang bahala rito, alis ako, kausapin ko si God. Pagbalik niya, may golden calf. And alam na naman natin nangyari doon. But still, God was so gracious that He gave them the tabernacle. What's the tabernacle for? Kasi yung sabi kanina, sabi kanina ni Itz, binasa niya yung Ezekiel. Sabi niya, you will be my people, I will be your God. Sinabi na yun ni God sa Exodus, you will be my people, I will be your God, and I will dwell with you. And it's in the tabernacle that God dwells. Yan ang, um, it's a model of the tabernacle of, uh, in Israel. That's where God dwells. That's where people can enter into His presence, so to speak. Okay? Now, and on the last part of Exodus, Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle. Why? Because there are some things that they need to do in order for the people to have access to God. How can an unholy people meet up or have access with a holy God? Ito yun sa Leviticus. So babasahin natin sa Leviticus chapter 16 verse 1 to 10. And if you can stand with me because... Iba, ang sabi ko last week, this is the only part of the preaching that is perfect. When we read the scripture, all other parts, maari po akong magkamali. The Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron when they drew near before the Lord and died. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron your brother, not to come at any time into the holy place inside the veil before the mercy seat that is on the ark so that he may not die. For I will appear in the cloud over the mercy seat. But in this way, Aaron shall come into the holy place with a bull from the herd for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering." He shall put on holy linen cloth, coat and shall have linen undergarment on his body. And he shall tie the linen sash around his waist and wear the linen turban. These are the holy garments. He shall bathe his body in water and put them on. And he shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel two male goats for a sin offering and one for a burnt offering or one ram for a burnt offering. Aaron shall offer the bull as a sin offering for himself and shall take, make atonement for himself and for his house. When you say house, it's the Levite clan, the priests. Then he shall take two goats and set them before the Lord in the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron shall, shall cast lots over the two goats one lot for the Lord and the other lot for Azazel. And Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for the Lord and use it as a sin offering. 
But the goat on which the lot fell for Azazel shall be presented alive before the Lord to make atonement over it, that it may be sent away into the wilderness to Azazel. The word of the Lord. Father, we ask that you will open our eyes and our hearts to your truth. And may we see the beauty of your grace and the magnificence of your love, even in this book, in these verses regarding the law. In Jesus' name, amen. Please do take your seat. <clears throat> so, para po medyo ma-imagine pa natin, ano? Uh, Anong ibig sabihin ng mga pinagbabasa ko? Like burnt offering, sin offering. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna run through what, what these are. So in Leviticus chapter 1, all the way to chapter 8, I think, uh, God said all the different sacrifices and offerings na kailangan yung ibigay. Okay, one of them is the burnt offering. The burnt offering or called the ascension offering because the burnt offering literally means to go up. Uh, it's every part of the animal is burned. And so it will make atonement for or pur- and purification for your sin. Now, the word atonement can mean either a ransom or to cover up your sin or it can mean purification. Kaya pag nagbabasa tayo ng, ng, ano, ng Leviticus, sino sa sabi siya, nakapagbasa na kayo ng Leviticus? And gusto ko lang malaman talaga. It's, it's fine kung hindi nyo pa nabasa. Pag hindi nyo pa nabasa, man, you're missing so much. Ibang klase ito. Grab it. This is the book that will give you peace. And hindi mo mamamalayan, nagsusnore ka na. But it's an amazing book. Okay? At mababasa mo dito, ha? Huh? Nag- gu- nakahawak lang ng dead person, uh, kailangan ng mag-sacrifice, magbigay ng offering, quarantine. Di ba? Nanganak yung babae, kailangan mag-quarantine, magbigay ng sacrifice. Kasalanan ba yun? No, but it shows you the holiness of God. That si God, ibang klase siya, that even the normal things that we do, it, for some reason, it really sets him apart that even yung pagka-normal natin, hindi uubra sa kanya. Kaya nga sabi sa Romans, all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. Diba? So anyway, balik ako. Burnt offering, it's, it's an offering for atonement atoning for your soul. But there's another one that's uh, an offering. And the burnt offering, of course, kailangan animal yung isa sacrifice mo. There's the grain offering. The grain offering is a thanksgiving to God for what He has given you, the produce that He has given you. So basically, the first fruits when they go to the land of uh, Canaan. Now you have the peace offering. And the peace offering could be given as a free will offering. Parang ano lang to? Uh, gusto mo lang mag-offer kay God. Masaya ka lang na si God yung God mo. Peace offering yon Or free will offering. Okay? Or fellowship offering. Okay? And or you made a vow and you fulfilled it, then you offer an offering to the Lord. Peace offering. Sin offering. Ito yung pinakasimple. Sin offering. So that you will be atoned for the sins that you have committed unintentionally. In ignorance, hindi mo pala alam na ang red sa traffic light, stop. Diba? And then later on, na-realize mo, ay nagkamali ako doon na Sin offering yon, Okay? Unintentional sin. May nagtanong ba sa inyo? May nagtanong, paano yung intentional sin? Ooh. For intentional sin that's grave, there is no offering involved you're dead. Adultery. It's your life. Murder. It's your life. Blasphemy. Intentionally. It's your life. Okay? So, guilt offering or trespass offering. Ano naman tong trespass offering? Ito naman, nagkasala ka tayo sa isa't isa nakalabas yung aso ko. Nakagat ka. Diba? Hindi lang yun. Yung hawak mong chihuahua, nilampaso ng aso ko. Namatay. Guilt offering yun. 
hindi lang guilt offering, hindi lang ako magbibigay ng animal na mag, ano, ng guilt offering ko, babayaran kita plus 20% ng damages. Ganon. So, wag ka magpapakagat sa aso ko. Okay? Kasi malaking pera yon sa akin. Hindi. Parang ganon. Ganon yung guilt offering. Bakit kaya may ganon si... Eh, tayo lang yun eh. Bakit kailangan ko mag-offer kay God? Kasi ito yung pinapakita ni God. Ang kasalanan ko sa'yo, kasalanan ko kay God. Ang kasalanan ko sa'yo defiles the land, the holy place where God is. That's why there's a an offering for it. And this is how it looks like. Ito yung itsura, yung diagram ng tabernacle. So dito, the outer courtyard, pwede tayo dyan. Yan yung altar, dyan isa sacrifice, may mga um, mesa dyan kung saan papatayin yung mga lambs and goats and stuff and they slit the throat. Don't worry, they're experts and stuff like that. Hindi, hindi, hindi to yung mahirapan pa yung animal. Okay? After that, there's the holy place. Only the priests are allowed in the holy place. The holy of holies, only the most high priest is allowed. Only once a year. Yan yung binasa natin kanina. The day of atonement. Only once a year to atone for the whole nation. Bakit? Kasi kanina yung mga burnt offerings, individual yun. Pero minsan, the whole nation makes a disobedient, you know, decision towards God. So, there's a day of atonement para sa, sa mga priests kasi ang mga priests mismo, nagkakasala rin sila hanggang ngayon, di ba? Mga pastor, nagkakasala pa rin, tama? And so, when you get into the most, the holy of holies, eto yung itsura nun. Wow, ang clear. Sorry, akala ko ang clear nito sa ano. Ang lak- you have the menorah, the candlesticks. You have the table there. That's the table of the uh, bread of the presence. Kailangan may bread dyan parate. The small altar is the altar of incense. And then you have a- another veil. And in that veil, going in, you have the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant. So yung mercy seat, nandyan sa Ark of the Covenant yan. Kasi kanina binasa ko, so at least magkaroon kayo ng picture about it. So, now, here's what happened. The Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron. Why is that important? Because ito yung nangyari. Natapos na yung tabernacle, di ba? Hindi makapasok si Moses. So sabi ni God, eto gawin nyo. Uh, for you to enter my presence, you have to do these offerings. The burnt offering, every day dapat may burnt offering. Okay? Hindi nakapasok si Moses kasi the whole of Israel defiled themselves with a golden calf, kaya kailangan ng Day of Atonement. So six, oh no, seven days of inauguration of the temple. That's their temple before. Seven days. After the seventh day, uh, Aaron and his, and his sons, uh, during those seven days, Aaron and his sons were consecrated to be priests. And then Aaron and Moses went into the tabernacle inside inside the tabernacle, in the holy place, not the holy of holies, the holy place. And they went out and they offered a burnt offering, a sin offering, and a peace offering. And guess what? There was a miraculous fire from the heaven consumed the, no, the offerings. And all the people were what? Rejoicing. They fell face down and they rejoiced. Why? Because God accepted the offering. Now they can have access to God. An unholy people having access to a holy God. Yes! It was a mountain high experience of faith and joy and peace. Seventh day. On the eighth day, the two sons of Aaron, who were not authorized to go inside the Holy of Holies, went inside the Holy of Holies. They offered unauthorized fire and they were consumed by the fire of the Lord. Nasunog sila. Literally, the word means they were eaten by the fire. So, akalain mo, celebration, seven days of celebration, on the eighth day, 
disobedience, parang Adam and Eve ulit. Kasi yung mga sons ni Aaron, ano ba yung gusto nilang gawin? Gusto lang naman nila mag-offer kay God. Di ba? Although they were not authorized to do so, they said, hmm, hindi, kaya yan. Tama yan, tama yan. Hindi, pero sabi ni God, di ba, hindi. Hindi, pero tingin ko pwede. Ilan na sa inyo ang naganon? Di ba sabi ni God, parang hindi talaga to pwede. Alam ko, pag inuwi ko tong paper clip, alam ko, stealing to eh. Sabi ng katabi mo, hindi ah, pwede yan. Ako nga, ginagawa ko eh. Oo. Oo. Kailan yan. Ilan na sa atin, ang nangyari na, alam naman natin na parang sabi, this will not please God, pero ginawa pa rin natin. Magpakatotoo lang, magpakatotoo. Hindi ko sinabing ginagawa natin ngayon ha. Sabi, at least nagginawa natin dati. Ayan. Totoo, wala. Wala. Okay. Sige. Anyway. So that's what happened. Kaya, parents with ID SJIX1 CO74, please, please, don't let, your, let, don't let our kids wait. Teacher Eileen, uh, room 102. Kaya napaka-importante nito kasi katatapos lang nito eh. And then God gave them this day of atonement. What should you do now that you have defiled once again the holy space of God and man? God said to, and God said to Aaron or to Moses, tell Aaron your brother not to come at any time into the holy place. Hindi pwedeng kung kailan mo lang gusto. How can a sinful man relate with a holy God? It's according to God's ways. Siya ang masusunod. Siya si God. Hindi tayo. Siya ang may authority. Siya ang standard. Hindi ang kultura. Sa panahon natin, si God pa rin ang standard. Yung word pa rin niya yung standard. Yung katotohanan pa rin. Hindi kung ano lang yung feel natin na parang tama. Hindi yung kasi sabi ng kaibigan ko. Ah, kasi napanood ko sa TikTok. No, worse is, we get our theology from TikTok. Di ba? Ah, kasi yan na yung kalagayan ngayon. Yan na yung kalakaran ngayon eh. Magbigay ka ng padulas. Kung hindi, hindi ka mabubuhay dito. Eh, kinakanta natin, di ba? Parating natin kinakanta, Jesus, you're all I need. Until, kailang kong magpadulas. Jesus is no longer what I need. It is God who will dictate there can be no compromise. If an unholy people wants to relate to a holy God, there can be no compromise. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, huwag ka nang magkompromiso. Ang sinasabi kompromiso, yung sin, ha? okay, hindi ito yung, oh, kayo mag-asawa, magkocompromise tayo sa schedule natin. Okay lang yun. Nobody can just go there. Why? Because God doesn't want us to die. Garden of Eden pa lang, gumawa na si God ng paraan that the effects of sin will not kill us immediately. Dito, sabi ni God, listen to me, this is for your own good. God is the one who went down to be with His people so that He can have a relationship with His people. Our sin is worse than we think. And the effects of our sin is worse than we want. Kasi, lalo na kung may pamilya ka, may mga anak ka, naku po. Kahit sabihin mo na, hindi, kaya ng mga anak ko, may epekto yan sa kanila. No? Minsan, you know, magkukwento yung mga parents, dads, moms, na alam mo, kahit nga naghiwalay kami ng asawa ko, yung mga anak pa rin namin, successful. 
parang, kung, parang gusto kong sabihin, no thanks to you. But I'm sure our, par- our single parents, they do their best. Even our parents who are together, they do their best. But as a parent myself, I must never put myself in a place na the reason why my kids are successful is solely because of me. It's because of God's grace. My parents, they broke up. And, you know, it's a hard thing for a kid to go through the separation of his parents. And the only reason why I'm here is because God's grace is greater than my resume. I am where I am because God's grace is greater than my ability or skills. And you are where you are because God's grace in your life is greater. And God wants us to understand, I want to relate with you, but the way we relate with Him must be according to His ways. Marriage, according to His ways. Work, career, integrity according to his ways. Raising a family according to his ways. Shera, echo, x-ray according to his ways. Amen? So kung kristyano tayo, nag-shera, echo, x-ray tayo sa side na hindi pa ka, single ka pa lang, itigil mo na. Kahit sabihin mo na magpapakasal naman kami. Hintayin nyo. Hintayin nyo. Nakakalungkot na ang akala natin, we can just bend and distort and defile the holiness of God without any consequence. But in this way, Aaron's come to the holy place with a bull from the herd and for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. I've already explained what a sin offering and a burnt offering is. And then he shall go to the holy place and put on holy, holy linen coat. So these are holy garments. Even going towards God, holy garments. It's not something that you just wear every now and then. Now, buti na lang, iba na ngayon. Can you imagine, pag pumunta tayo dito dati, naka-linen lang tayo at may turban pa. Di ba? Not only that, and he shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel two male gods. So kanina, for, for Aaron, for the priest, kailangan niya ng bull and a ram for his sins. And far be it from us, pastors, leaders, who would think we are above repentance. That we can do things our way and not God's way. Kaya ako sinabi yung TikTok kanina, yung mga... mga mga social media kasi lumalaganap ngayon sa so social media especially sa US. And dito na ni siguro kasi nakakabit naman tayo sa US and stuff. Yung mga pastors na magsasabi na you know, God doesn't even know everything. Pastors who would say that Jesus was actually a racist and he Jesus had to repent. Pastors who would say that when it comes to your sexuality, the Bible is not really the best source of it. Ingat po tayo. And if you're a leader, campus missionary, far be it from us to think that our methods, that the way we want to engage culture, we're not gonna do it God's way. We're not gonna, we're not going to Declare the truth about his love, his mercy, his justice, the truth about sin, the truth about salvation, and the truth about hell. Far be it from us that we don't do that. If I don't do that, then I do not love you. If I do not give you the truth about the consequence of sin. But Leviticus is not just about the law, it's about the grace of God. Okay, sabi dito, one for a sin offering, one for a burnt offering. Aaron shall, shall offer the bull for his sin and for the sin of the priests. Okay, atonement for himself and for his house. Then he shall get two goats and set them before the Lord. 
and the, at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So two goats, magkakasila ng lots. Lots are like, you know, dice. Sino yung sa goat nito yung isa sacrifice? Sino yung pakakawalan? Siguro kung ikaw yung goat, parang, kumakain na ako kanina eh. Parang, iba, inalagaan niyo ako, pinatabaan niyo ako, tapos itong mangyayari. Immediately, 50-50 ang buhay ko. Either or. Siguro sabi ng mga goat sa isa't isa, sana siya yung mas mataba. Diba? So cast nuts, the other one will be offered as a sin offering. And the other one will be offered now. The other one is for the Lord. The other one is for Azazel. Sino si Azazel? Hindi ko po siya kilala. But here's the, ito yung mga haka-haka ng mga scholars. It could mean that Azazel simply means scapegoat. It could mean that Azazel simply means scapegoat. But it could mean that Azazel is the name of a demon. A representation of evil. So, this goat for the Lord will be killed, offered as a offering. The blood of the goat will be splattered inside the Holy of Holies, just like the blood of the bull. Why? Why not splattered on the people? Why splattered on the Holy of Holies? Because our sin defiles the holy, the holy place. And if they don't do that, if they don't atone for their sin, and it just keeps on piling up, time will come, God will leave His people. Sandali lang, akala ko ba God will never leave us nor forsake us? Kulang kayo. Kaya nga dumating ang time, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel saw the Spirit of God leave the temple. Why? Because they were doing the sacrifices, but they were idolaters. Ang ginawa ng mga Israelites later on is this. Naisip nila, as long as we do the sacrifice, the atonement and stuff, patatawarin tayo ni God. Kahit hindi tayo sumusunod kay God. Familiar ba? As long as nagsisimba tayo, nagbibigay tayo ng offering, good tayo kay God kahit salbahe tayo sa mga kapitbahay natin, kahit hindi tayo faithful sa ating mga marriages, kahit addicted tayo sa porn, kahit nagsusugal tayo, okay tayo kay God. Sabi ni God, hindi. The sacrifice is so that you will come before me holy, not mocking me. So yun nangyari in the future sa Israel. Pero dito sa Leviticus, binibigyan sila ni God ng chance to be, to have a relationship with Him. The... Sorry. If you have your phones with you, please put it in silent mode. Ako pala yun. Um, sandali lang po ah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, calling for the parent of my son. Please call my son. Thank you. <laughs> the other one will be released into the wilderness to make atonement. So yung isang buhay hahawakan ni Aaron, ng high priest, dalawang kamay sa ulo. Tapos, i-confess niya yung kasalanan ng bansa. So, iniisip ko lang, gano'ng katagal kaya yun? Di ba? Adultery, stealing, o chismis, yung gano'n, o yung isa, nagnakaw, paper clips, gano'n. Gano'ng katagal niya kaya yung sinasabi yun? And then, that goat will be given to someone in charge and will be released in the wilderness. What's the picture? The first picture, the one for the Lord, is that somebody had a blameless life will have to die for me. The other one is that sin has to be 
far from me. Driven away from me, from the land, from the people. And tradition later on, may mga nakuha sila mga, mga you know, manuscripts or traditions, mga scholars that says na dumating ang time na merong isang priest that would actually make sure na nakabantay siya sa camp kasi baka bumalik yung goat. So parang, ha, ah, kasalanan natin bumabalik. <laughs> diba? And then, other traditions say that dumating yung time na hindi lang nila nilalagay, pinapakawalan sa wilderness, kasi pag pet yun, di ba, babalik talaga. They actually drive it off a cliff. cliff. Uy, kasalanan natin, patay na. Parang ganon. But that's the picture, the grace that God has shown them, that one goat is for the cleansing. The other goat is so that their shame is driven away, their sin is driven away. Leviticus is more than just a book of the law. It's a book of God's grace. Kasi umpisa pa lang, God was so gracious, and then that two sons of Aaron, priests, not even not even yung, maintindihan mo pa yung parang, oh, hindi priest eh, kasi parang, o oh nga, hindi, nag, hindi lumalapit. Eto priests, defile the sanctuary. And so the day of atonement. Atoning for the holy place and the tent of the altar. When he has made an end of that, the goats will be released. Okay. And Aaron shall lay both his hands, so I already read this. Both his hands confess the sins, the transgressions, the iniquity, lahat ng mga kasalanan, and that will be sent away so that the, the sin will be far away. Merong verse Isaiah, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. Alam niyo, ganun ang Panginoon natin. Napag nagpatawad siya, tinatanggal na niya yung kasalanan mo. Parang kung baga, alam mo, kung napatawad ka na ni God, Wag mo nang idikdik sa sarili mo yung kasalanan na yun. Sino sa atin gumagawa pa nun? Yung sinasabi natin na, alam ko napatawad ako ni God, pero hindi ko mapatawad ang sarili ko. Yan. Yung nakatayo ka, yung mahangin, dalampasigan, alam ko napatawad na ako ni God. Pero hindi ko mapatawad ang sarili ko. <laughs> Napakasama kong tao. Ako ang nilalang na hindi dapat karapat-dapat mabuhay. Yung mga ganon, Guys, eto lang, ang tanong ko, si God holy, di ba? Tayo, hindi, we fall short of that holiness. Ang holy God, pinatawad ka. So, ibig mong sabihin, mas magaling ka pa kesa sa holy God na hindi mo mapatawad ang sarili mo at parati mo iniisip yung kasalanan na yon. Hindi galing kay God yun, galing sa demonyo yun. Huwag kang makinig doon. Di ba? Pin, kapag pinatawad ka ni God, Tumpak, tapos, your, your sins are washed away. Because God's grace is greater than we can imagine. And during that time, that was a temporary provision. All those sacrifices, those were temporary provisions. Looking forward to an eternal provision from the Lord. Those statues that will bring atonement and cleanse us from, cleanse them from all their sins, guess what? They have to do that what? Every year. Every year. Kaya sabi sa Hebrews, if that really removed their sin, why do they have to do it every year? Kulang ang power ng bulls and goats to remove sin. It was an it was a shadow. It was a symbol. It was a picture of the eternal provision that was to come. It was a symbol. God's sacrifice is greater than any sacrifice we can ever make. Not in the bulls and the goats, but in His Son, Jesus Christ. But when Christ appeared as high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not the tabernacle, not the one made by man, not the one made by hands that is not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, 
not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing eternal redemption. What happened in Leviticus, temporary redemption. Temporary picture of an eternal salvation and redemption that will happen when Jesus comes. And it has happened already. So kung dati yung mga tao, excited sila, namatay yung goat, namatay yung sheep, namatay yung... Pati si Mary, natsama din. Mary had a little lamb, nawala. Diba? Andun na. Namatay na lahat. Eh, pero excited sila na, Lord, instead na ako mamatay, tong sheep namatay, now I can have a relationship with you. Paano pa kaya tayo? Na ang namatay sa... Hindi. Hindi si Fluffy ang namatay para sa atin. Si Jesus. Which means kanina, nung nag-worship tayo dito, the only reason why we can gather is because of that sacrifice. At pa, may, pag uwi mo, pag nag ka, the only reason God hears you is because of that great sacrifice. And then, pag nag ka, and God receives you and forgives you and cleanses you from all your sin and shame. Hindi ba tayo magkakaroon ng burden na Lord? Ayoko na sa kasalanan. The sacrifice that you did is beyond my imagination. Just so that I can have a relationship with you. Ang tanong ko kanina, how can sinful humans have a relationship with the Holy God? Pero I think ang kailangan itanong natin, why does a holy God want to have a relationship with sinful humans? Why? Anong sacrifice natin na ginawa for God? Pero I think ang kailangan isipin natin every day, ano ang sacrifice na ginawa ni God para sa atin? Why will a, a holy God want to have a relationship with us? Alam natin to. For God so loved the world. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, baka nalimutan niya, God loves you. May sakit ako ngayon eh, God loves you. May utang ako eh, God loves you. May mga ginawa akong hindi tama, God loves you. That He gave His one and only Son the greatest sacrifice that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So I want to remind us of that great sacrifice. I want you to get the communion, bread, and juice. I want to remind us, I want to celebrate this with you. Iika-ika ako ngayon eh, but God loves me. Meron ako, meron, meron ako. Diba? Mahal na ng tuition fee, mahal yung gas. God loves us. Kung totoo yung sinasabi, mga parati nating kinakanta, Jesus, you're all I need. I want you to have hope. God will take us through. And even in the midst of those high prices, in the midst of what we see in this nation, na parang, Lord, may pang-asa pa ba yung nation na to? Yes. Why? Because God loves us. Why don't we all stand? In 1 Corinthians 11, 20-26, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you, the Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, took bread. And when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the, is the blood of the new covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lord, we thank you that Leviticus is more than just about loss of diets, loss of clothings, loss of even farming, Lord God, and sexual loss. 
It's about your grace. That you are the God who wants to live with us. Holy God, sinful humanity, because you want to redeem us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you lived the perfect life that we should have lived. And you died the death that we should have died. And thank you that you have clothed us with your righteousness and removed the shame far away from us. And in your word in Isaiah, you said, by your stripes, by your wounds, we are healed. And so we believe your word. Heal us emotionally. Heal us in our minds, in our spirit. Heal us in our bodies. In the name of Jesus, we command every infirmity healed. Whether that's of the bone, of the organs, of the muscles, of the blood, whether that's cancer or whatever infirmity it is, we declare it healed in the name of Jesus. And we celebrate your love demonstrated for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's partake of the bread. Lord, we thank you that your blood cleansed us from all unrighteousness. Hindi ka kinakahiya ng Panginoon at hindi ka nakakahiya. Your shame has been cleansed and your unrighteousness has been washed. Can you say to someone, God accepts you. Hindi ka basura. Thank you, Lord, for your shed blood on the cross. The body and the blood for our salvation. Let's drink of the cup. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look at you, turn His face to you, and give you peace. I've explained this before, but I'm going to say it again. You know what that means? That not only will God be gracious, giving you blessings, but pag galit ka sa isang tao, usually hindi mo siya tinitingnan, di ba? Pansinin mo, pag inis ka sa isang tao, ni matingnan mo siya, ayaw mo. You know what that means? That God will turn His face towards you and give you peace. That when you sin, you will see God still looking at you and say, Balik ka. And that's the peace that comes, knowing that God still wants you. So God, we renounce and we reject any form of condemnation. We say no to sin. We return to you. We say no to adultery. We say no to every sexual immorality. We say no to gambling. God, if we're addicted, we're going to get help. We say no to hatred. We say no to anger. We say no to anxieties and worries because that is not from you. And we say yes to your goodness. We receive it, Lord. We bask in it. We rejoice in it. May we be a people who will not just say it here, but we will live it out there so that you will be glorified. I invite you to sing this worship song. May the Lord bless you indeed.
Let's continue to pray to God as we close this service. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa bagong buhay na inyong pinagkaloob sa amin. Yun po ang mensahe niyo sa amin ngayong hapon. Lord, we are humbling ourselves before you, a holy God, that even in the book of Leviticus, you have shown to us a foreshadowing of what you did on the cross. That Jesus, you are the perfect lamb. That because of your blood, covering all our sins, Lord, what you see in us is the righteousness of Christ. So as your people, as we continue to learn and grow in our understanding of how holy and loving and gracious you are. Lord, just help us to respond in worship. Help us to respond in obedience to you. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for giving us hearts of flesh. Thank you because we are your people because of what you did for us. Lord, as a people, Lord, we are thanking you this afternoon for everything that you have done for us, for our families. Lord, we are secured in you. Nothing this world will do to us will take us away from your love. Lord, napakabuti niyo po sa amin. Lord, may we not take this for granted. That as your people, we are asking for your grace so that we can really live this life for your name. Lord, help us every single day. Lord, thank you so much for this church, for this community, for the people all around us, those who are helping us grow in faith. Lord, we are recommitting ourselves to you 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God a hand. Maraming salamat po. I hope you enjoy the service. See you all next week. Uh, again, my couple, we have a couple's community connect this uh, right, uh, right after the service. So it's in basement. It's uh, EN Lounge if they're available. If you need prayers, we're here in front. God bless everyone. <laughs>